about him? Because I didn't get you on to put doubts in your mind. I'm actually liking him more and more. Uh, but, you know, when he used to say he liked Hillary and stuff, you think that was just him being friendly? He was probably just being friendly. But listen, this man wants to make America great, mm -hmm. and he don't even want to get paid to do it. That's right. That speaks volumes, and it tells you something about his character. Mm -hmm. He's putting his money where his mouth is. That's right. And he wants to work for the American people, and that's why the American people love him. That's why he's leading the, in the polls, yeah. and that's why he's going to be our next president. And if you go to DiamondSilk.com, you'll see why we stuck for Trump. Yes. So it's, it's, it's his policies. It's why... Uh, you ladies like him. Now, don't lie to me. Do you also think Donald's handsome? Well, we, listen, yes, he's handsome. Yeah. But he's going to be our next president, and that's what we're excited about. That's and right. we want everybody, forget about this media biasness and this propaganda. That's right. Don't pay it no attention. Continue to stop for Trump, because that's what we're going to continue to do, is stop right. for him until we get him in that White House. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sure, I had a guest on yesterday, and I said, listen, we can't pay for all these anchor babies. We're going bankrupt. Europe can't pay for all these immigrants. You know, why isn't the Arab countries taking the immigrants? And the guest said, oh, don't be racist. I mean, why is it that America is the only country that's supposed to pay for everything while we're going bankrupt? What happens when we go bankrupt? Well, you know what? Sometimes uh, we get you so used to uh, robbing Peter to pay Paul. That's right. Charity starts at home. We need to take care of our own citizens first, our veterans, mm -hmm. our people that's living in poverty, mm -hmm. our people that's homeless and talking about America's talking about we'll work for food. Mm -hmm. Take care of those people first before we reach outside yes. and start trying to take care of everybody else. That's right. When did you start to follow Donald Trump? I mean, did you read about his politics? You watch him on TV? The uh, first time. The first time he announced that he was running for president, mm -hmm. I was in my bedroom watching him on CNN, and mm -hmm. I call him CNN. Uh -huh. And I called Silk. I said, cut the TV on. Donald is on talking about he's running for president. Mm -hmm. And midway through, Silk called me back. She said, girl, this is going to be our next president. And I've been loving him ever, ever since. since. Well, it would be nice to have a president that doesn't run the country down constantly and uh, try to ship our jobs overseas. I mean, I, I thought the Republicans were pretty bad before, I and mean, I was nonpartisan. But I got to say, Obama and the people that he works with really do seem like they have it out for this country. Well, you know what? We are survivors, and we're not going to cry over spilled milk. Right. What we want to do is put somebody in office that can clean up the milk. Yes, and right. that's why we stop for Trump, and that's why we want him to be our next president. That's right. Well, ladies, you've got the floor. I could ask a lot of questions, but let me hear from Diamond. Let me hear from Silk, each of you, your two minutes on why you like Donald Trump and what we can do to get Donald Trump elected. We like Donald Trump because Donald Trump wants to keep the American people safe. That's right. He wants to bring jobs back to this country. Did you know that companies like Ford Motor Company mm -hmm. ship their jobs to Mexico mm -hmm. to make products and manufacturing products mm -hmm. for no more than a couple of dollars and then bring those products over here That's for right. us to buy them for thirty, forty thousand dollars mm -hmm. This is what the American people need to know. Right. Listen, he wants to bring these jobs back where we can thrive. He, he Listen, he makes sense. Yeah. And he, he, he keeps doing this in a common sense approach. Exactly. That's why we should stop for Trump, and exactly. that's why we should put him in the White House. That's right. And while all the other candidates is talking politics, Donald Trump is talking common sense. And he's bringing a common sense approach to these issues that's going on right now in this world. Donald Trump is the man for the job. He's a businessman. He knows economics. Mm -hmm. We're having economic issues right now. Guess what? What? He needs to be in the White House. He needs to be in the White House. And we got to stop robbing Peter to pay Paul, yes. you all. We got to stop that way of thinking because that's not going to get us nowhere. And listen, you never going to attain the American dream by getting a handout. That's we right. need somebody that's going to give us a handout yes. and show us how it's done. That's right. Yes, that's why we stop for Trump. Yeah. Well, I know this. Donald Trump's saying a lot of stuff that's true, and his businesses are based on having a thriving economy. He's the type of billionaire that will probably go under if the, if the recession continues much longer. So that might be the motive for him actually wanting to do the right thing. There's so many other powerful elites, though, that want a managed, controlled economy, not a free market. And I just wonder what they're going to try next to try to stop Donald Trump. We don't know, and that's why the American people have to get behind him. Yes. Stop look, listening to the media biasness and yep. his propaganda mm -hmm. and the things that they keep spinning. It's the weapon. It's a weapon that they use to put doubt in the American people's mind. That's right. We've always allowed them to do it, but mm -hmm. they won't do it this time.
I know they get won't. behind your candidate. Yes. If you are a Democrat, switch your party today exactly. so that we can vote our candidate in office. And Donald stay Trump. on message. And stay on message. Yes. And stay on point. We're not about the fight. We are about the message. That's the message and getting this country to moving again. That's well, I like that. That's positive that you don't end fight with the other candidates and stuff. You just stay on message. But I tell you, I think the mainstream media is out of bullets. The more they attack him, the more they demonize him and, and make stuff up or exaggerate it or take it out of context, the more people like Donald Trump. I think he's kind of lessened some of his hardcore message lately. That may be why he hasn't, you know, grown as fast. But but he also exposed the vaccines that we should have a right to not take them and we're giving the kids too many. Uh, he's also been exposing the fact that uh, that that there is a radical Islamic invasion of this country. Uh, he's talked about the fact that there's been a plan to deindustrialize the nation. Uh, he has said that uh, the whole gun control movement's failed and, and that we should have, you know, a right to concealed carry just comes with the Constitution. So I tell you, he's really, really getting good. And, and I wonder if Donald Trump himself has woken up or this is who he always was. Because the Donald Trump of 20 years ago was a lot more liberal. And so maybe he's just changed with the times. But I know he plugged us whenever uh, Joe Biggs caught drug dealing on the border the day that Trump was there. Uh, so, I mean, I know he does... Uh, uh, he does seem to have a hardcore stance. He even talked about our Hillary shirt, our Hillary for prison shirt, uh, and said that he liked it. Uh, so he does seem to be pretty hardcore. I just wonder what the establishment's going to do to try to shut him down. Well, I'll tell you what, whatever they try to do, the trickery and the fakery is not going to work because no. we, the American people, yes. is behind Donald Trump. Yes, and we see it. We see it, and we stop for Trump, yes. and we want him in the White House. That's right. That's who we want in the White House. Right. Yes. All right, ladies, I know you guys got to get back to work. We appreciate you. you got a few minutes left here. Uh, we're talking to Diamond and Silk, uh, two political commentators popular on YouTube. A uh, great example for other folks to get involved, have your voice be heard, whatever your views are. Diamondandsilk.com. In closing, uh, how would you ladies like to leave us? Listen, if you are a Democrat yes. and you need to switch your party, switch your party today, baby. That's right. So that you can vote for Donald Trump in the primaries yes. is what we want you to do. And guess what? Right. For my African Americans, in case y'all didn't know, right. uh, Martin Luther King was a Republican. Yes, so let's get back to our roots, okay? Yes, let's let's get, get back to, to our roots. Either y'all can stay left or get right. Yes. Get right and, and change your party. And it's nothing wrong with coming off the Democratic plantation, yes. baby. <laughs> I love it. Well, obviously, the Democrats and Republicans have their history and their problems, but the Democrats really are the founders of the Klan. They really are uh, social engineers. They're very nasty people uh, yes. at the top. They're really using people. And look at how black unemployment's doubled under Obama, uh, worse than all the other unemployment. I mean, how, uh, how did that happen? That's, see, I don't even want to discuss how it happened because I haven't a clue. That's why we need to put somebody yes. in the White House that wants to bring our jobs back where our African Americans can thrive again in this country. Exactly. They won't have to be in poverty. They can obtain the middle class that's now. Right. And that's why we look at Donald Trump and exactly. that's why we stop for Trump. And stop just wanting the crumbs. Yes. It's, so it's time for us to have a slice of the cake, yes. not just the crumbs, that's not right. just handouts. That's All yes. right, ladies, come back again with us, diamondandsilk.com. Very interesting. Thanks for being involved in the political process. God bless you. We'll be tuning in to you. Thank you. Thank you, sweethearts. All right. You know they got a little pin up of Donald Trump on the wall. <laughs> we'll be back. The hanging today is done inside the computers. We're going to break it down coming up after I take these calls that have been holding as the Volkswagen scandal widens. Also, TSA agent, another case of it, stole passengers' money at checkpoint, police say. Report, British Prime Minister David Cameron stuck genitals in dead pig's mouth. You got to ask yourself, why is all this coming out now? Because it's how they control people. And in these college secret societies where people have sex with animals and stuff, that's just a gateway into the real cult. And they're finding out, will you do this kind of stuff? I want to warn folks that are involved in college fraternities or if you're putting your kids in them, that a lot of fraternities aren't bad, but the more elite ones that are into all this stuff are super bad news. That ties into the pedophiles coming out of the closet, saying we've got to accept it, and we've got to love them, and we've got to see their courage, and you know everything else. So we're going to be breaking that down. The big drug scandal with the hedge fund manager doubling, tripling, quadrupling prices on AIDS drugs and hepatitis drugs. It's all just par for the course. 
you got to ask, though, it's mainly just America, Canada, and a few European countries that allow the screw job to go on. But right now, let's go to your calls. I'm just going to go right through them. John and Stephen and Gordon and Augusta in Alabama and Mama and others. John, thanks for holding. You're on the air. Go ahead. Hi, Alex. I want to talk about Trump and Hillary, but I, I want to talk about Trump first. You know, I watched Aaron Dyke's uh, YouTube video he had up on air the last about well, 15 minutes of all of Donald Trump's past interviews and stuff back when he was friends with Clinton and, and, and everything that he was for now he's against. And it wasn't like two years ago he had a big conversion. It was right at election time. All of a sudden now he's this big conservative that uh, is going to, and he's doing all these childish things to, to turn people off, like attacking that woman on her looks and stuff, you know, which is designed to really turn a lot of people off, you know. And, uh, well, I I've said it that I don't completely trust Donald Trump uh, and that I've got some problems with him and that he should be watched and he could be a giant ringer. But libertarians, conservatives, others are really supporting him right now. And so I'm here cautiously saying I support what he's saying. I support what he's doing. I think Rand Paul's a candidate. I, I support him for president. And Rand Paul's uh, certainly been fighting um, a lot of tyranny as well. He just hasn't done it with Trump's flamboyant style. And yes, we've played those clips about how much he loves Hillary and how he's for assault weapons ban. And, uh, you know, we've played all those here as well. I don't know the particular clips you're talking about, uh, but I've got a good idea. And so, yes, it is a real paradox. Uh, what does your gut tell you? You think Trump's going to be a ringer? The only way we can find out is if Hillary, for some reason, gets knocked out of the race and if it's Trump against biden well then i could vote for i could vote for trump but if it's uh if uh if it's, if it's some kind of shenanigans behind the scene where hillary's going to get the nomination and he's already split up the republican party different ways that uh and uh so it's well like i thought have, that could be the case and but i said if he runs third party we know he's shilling for hillary because he would mainly just draw republican and libertarian voters over to ensure she won now he's pledged not to do that uh, which makes me think he won't do that. So that's another thing in his column. He came out against vaccines. Uh, he came out and said, the Constitution is your concealed carry. He's adopting patriot language. And so more and more stuff stacks up on his side. Before, I thought the weight was against him. Now the weight's for him. I have to judge a tree by, his, by its fruits. Uh, leopards don't tend to change their spots. He may be an operative. He may be a shill. Uh, only time will tell. And so I agree with you. It bears watching. Hillary, a long, a long time ago, I remember, Alex, that you interviewed a state trooper who was assigned to the Clintons when Bill was uh, governor of Arkansas. He was a bodyguard for him. Man, you've been listening and a long said, time. I have. And he said, I remember, he said that the first time he ate, laid eyes on Hillary, she came out and she had a sport and a big button on her dress that said, proud member of the Communist Party. Oh, yeah, she wears communist pins. They put them on the Christmas trees. Uh, they've had FBI agents go public that were in the White House. They just said it's insane. Crack pipes and Lenin and Stalin and Mao Christmas bulbs, uh, Christmas ornaments. People didn't believe that at the time. It later came out in court. By the way, Hillary uh, had uh, the IRS go after that FBI agent's uh, foundation. So it's pretty bad. God bless you, John. We'll be back. John's been listening like 18 years. I should have added earlier, I was just talking to him during the break, David Knight and Jakari Jackson are going to be in D.C. And then they're going to be in the other two uh, states or cities uh, where the Pope is going to be visiting uh, over the next five days. The Pope, the Grand Pontiff, leaving Cuba, uh, will be landing at about 3 o'clock uh, their time in D.C. So they're going to be there uh, giving us pre-coverage and then live coverage today into the fourth hour that's going to be hosted by Paul Joseph Watson and some special guests that he has as well. Again, we're bringing the fourth hour back for five or six years. I did a fourth hour. That first decade on radio, I just did the three hours. Then we had a fourth hour. And then I just got too much launching the nightly news and building up the infrastructure. So I started getting rid of the fourth hour, but still had it there because occasionally I would do it. A lot of stations kept carrying the fourth hour. Well, now it's live every day. Sometimes I host, but it's always uh, one of our other great reporters joining me as well. Uh, Rob Dube, 
Jakari Jackson, Leanne McAdoo, uh, Anthony Gucciardi, Paul Joseph Watson, Joe Biggs, uh, and others. Kit Daniels, you name it. And it really is a jam-packed uh, fourth hour. We're going to go to Stephen and Gordon and Augusta, Mama, AD, and others here in just a 